Hey everybody, welcome to the Cricket Chronicles. The dad and Biscuit, Biscuit, what? say hi. Hi. Biscuit is our 10 month old Sheltie puppy. Many of you have been watching her 50 tricks in 50 days Instagram challenge where she is doing a different trick every day for 50 days and we're actually up to... She's playing guitar. We have 66 tricks to show you guys eventually. However, uh, a number of people have asked, how do you do these? How do you train your dog to do all these crazy things? So we are gonna go over that today, at least the basics. Stop playing the guitar. One of our fans mentioned they are excited to be able to buy the training videos. They are completely free thanks to Biscuit. However, if you'd like to recognize all the time, effort and expense it takes to make all the Cricket Chronicles videos, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's basically like a donation subscription service and there's rewards for uh, our patrons. So check it out. We'll put the link in the description also. Okay, Biscuit. First thing you're going to want to do is probably pick up a couple of books. Here's our choices. Here are four of the books that we have been using. This is our top book. Uh, we've used this one the most. However, we will put a link for all of these books in the description. Okay, something that uh, has been invaluable toward us is the Outward Hound treat bag. Inside, it's filled with goldfish crackers. And finally, get yourself a clicker. We are big advocates of clicker training. There are different kinds. Again, just check the Amazon link and that will send you to uh, some examples of ones that we like. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is create a table to keep track of the tricks you've done. I started with just a few here and now we are well on to 67 tricks. It's super easy to forget, honestly. I keep going back to that chart as she gets more and more tricks. I'm old and my photographic memory's running out of film. Biscuit, what's your first trick? It's sit. The very first trick Biscuit ever learned was to sit. Let's take a look at some footage of Biscuit when she was just a baby and I was teaching her how to sit. We're gonna try this basics. We're gonna go with sit. Back. Oh, good job. Okay, you back here. Okay, sit. Good girl. So the basic steps for sit, pretty simple. It's all about luring using uh, dog treats. Make sure you have your clicker handy. And uh, we use goldfish. However, uh, any low calorie treat, <laughs> once you're doing 67 tricks, she could be a little blimp if I gave her something that was high calorie. Your dog is never too old to learn tricks. Cricket is seven years old and she's learned how to do tricks from Biscuit, just watching Biscuit. So don't give up on them. You gotta be patient. You need to be patient. So you take the treat and as they come forward, you lift it up and move it back and you tell them to sit. Sit. And once she sits, she gets it. But you wanna click before you give her the treat. The second her bum touches the ground, click. And the click basically means you've done it right, even if it takes me a while to fumble and get it out of my pouch. What do you think of this one? Too easy. Okay, a little full of yourself. Good girl. The second trick Biscuit learned was... Go down. Oh, down. All right, let's do it. Oh, and you're waving at me. Again, she started out young. Good, now down, down, and... It's all about luring with the treat. I took it and I lowered it in front of her. Down, down, and I kept saying the word down so she knew. The second her legs came down, her front legs, hit that clicker, and she gets the treat. Training dogs is a lot like training kids. I'm a teacher by trade, I teach elementary school kids. Teaching dogs is a lot like teaching kids. You have to stay positive. If you're getting frustrated and you're yelling at them, they are not gonna wanna do it. So if uh, your pup is not doing what you want it to do, take a break, come back at it the next day. It's amazing how sleeping on it really does work even for dogs. Okay, Biscuit, what's next? Roll over. To do roll over, I use a little bit of manipulation and leading with the treat. First there was the down. Eventually you get rid of the treat and you just use your hand down. And then my hand signal for roll over is just like this. So then she starts to realize, when I do this, it means roll over. 
and there she goes. Just kind of give her an idea, roll over, show her the hand signal, roll over, and then I help her. Roll over, here you go, ready, roll over, good girl. When you first start teaching your dog to roll over, they're not gonna know what you're talking about. So I start doing the hand signal, and then I kind of tap them here on their, uh, right by the haunch of their leg, and I go roll over, roll over, and it gets them rolling over, and then I might have to help her over, okay? Hand signal, roll over, and right away, go back, all the way, go back. Good girl. Is that our next trick? We're gonna show them how you ring the bell? Okay, okay, ready? Ding the bell. Okay, you want to do that one? Fourth trick we're going to do is show you how we taught Biscuit to ring the bell. You can teach this one. She was super small. Take a look. And when she rings it, I'm going to click and give her a treat. Good girl. When I first put the bell down, she was super interested. She walked over and checked it out. And as soon as she even got her nose close to it, I would use the clicker. She's now realized the clicker means treat's coming. So she'd come and get a treat, go back, and this is known as shaping. So I don't actually have to show her by forcing her nose onto it. She just walks over and starts pawing at it or touching it with her nose. Once she made that sound, she would get a click. Eventually, I take the click away because the sound of the bell becomes the click itself. Ding. You see, she looks up right away as soon as the sound comes because she knows that ding is the same as a click. What's next? Paw shake. Shake a paw, all right. Yeah, let's shake that paw. Good job. The fifth trick Biscuit learned is called uh, shake a paw. So here's how we did it. For shake a paw, uh, I start with the puppy in sit position. And basically I hold my hand out and she now knows really well, but I hold my hand out just to get her to put her paw into my hand, okay, paw to paw. If your dog doesn't naturally uh, paw at you, then just reach down and gently take her paw and say, shake a paw, and then go give them a treat. There's always a reward, always positive. Reach down, grab the paw, say shake a paw, then make sure they hear it, shake a paw, and a treat. So that's it. That is the first five tricks that Biscuit learned. Keep watching the 50 Tricks in 50 Days Challenge. Uh, and we will keep putting out uh, quick little short videos explaining how we trained Little Biscuit here, not so little anymore, how to do them. Okay, so get training your pups. Say bye, Biscuit. No, you, you, she's done. <laughs>